Okay, um, so, phone died, uh, Nova went and, uh, went out to the gas station to get cigarettes and soda, so I have his chat going right now, so, that's what's going on right now. Um, once he gets back, I'll, I'll have him reboot it, so he has all the, the tags going right, but, it's pretty quiet around here, you know, we're definitely still here, not gonna go anywhere until Wesley Chun and, uh, Trish Morikawa are brought to justice. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty indicative of how the system works for people of influence and people of power. Had these been any other individuals, they would have been arrested immediately. But here we are, 13 and a half hours in to, uh, police reports being filed to uh, them still not being arrested. So, I guess if you have money, that means you get special privilege. It means that you're considered a high-level target. So, they get to just run around. You know, at, at this rate, Wes and uh, Trish are going to be in their offices before they're arrested. So, they get to get a good night's sleep, get to get up and go to work, while a regular criminal would have been rousted from their bed and handcuffed. It doesn't get much simpler than this. It's theft. We have concrete proof that theft took place, and yet nothing's going on. So, the sun is very apt, by the way, refuse and resist. It's exactly what's going on. Um, so Nova is back. Oh, you got my Ustream going? Yeah, I have the Ustream going, but, um, I, I text you all of the, the hashtags and all that crap, and try to put it in, and it wouldn't let me, so I just started it up without any of the hashtags. I figured when you got back, you can restart it with all the crap yeah, yeah, tags. Yeah, yeah. How many people's on there? We're, we're still at 30. Okay, cool. Um, everybody kind of figured out very quickly in the, uh, social stream that, uh, it was just a slight glitch, the pineapple glitch, if you will. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, batteries, but at least we have a little bit of backup still left for, uh, getting our batteries. I was able to obtain dues for each of us, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, I got some cigarettes, and I also got some juice here for those that was concerned about me in taking my Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, yeah, somebody was trying to um, do a call-in order for cigarettes and Mountain Dew. Um, there's no ABC stores in the area, and I called the Tesoro, and uh, they were like, no, we don't take orders over the phone. So it's very much appreciated, but I don't think anyone out here is going to allow that kind of order to take place over the phone. So Especially delivering here at HPD when there's... Tents and signs and blockades going on. <laughs> right. So I'm sure somebody would, you know, even if we were able to just run over there and pick it up. <laughs> we're either mentally <laughs> cold, cold friction says have mountain deep more like it. Have you realized this? Okay, so we have this whole justification why we're doing this, but does that still, does that mean that we're not insane, or are we insane for what we're trying to do, you know? <laughs> you know, just because we're justified doesn't mean what we're doing is insane. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. 
Here, let me see it. Alright. Alright. So Thank you. That was Eye Zombie uh, trying to keep my number going for you guys. As you can tell, we're related. I keep getting okay. Spanish Burger King and Spanish Ford Explorer commercials. <laughs> well, little known fact <laughs> Nova is no go in Spanish. Yeah, you know. So perhaps the Ustream thinks that Nova is of Spanish descent. <laughs> and that could be why you're getting Spanish commercials. <laughs> Well, you know, no go, right? No that go. means I ain't going anywhere. That <laughs> is very fitting for this action. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> One, we are the people. Two, we are united. Three, Nova. <laughs> no go. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Are you going to arrest Trish and Wes now? <laughs> You keep getting out of your office, but I don't see you getting into a car to go find them. I'm becoming distraught. I don't know what they mean by recapped. Everybody keeps saying something about you're being recapped in several places. I, I think they just mean being re-streamed. Re restreamed in that? Yeah. Yes, the tent is still here, and so are we. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get some uh, hashtags going on this thing. Well, apparently this means that we're going to you are still live on Occupy World News Now. Cool deal. Okay, so we do have someone that's uh, keeping this live for us. And uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Occupy World News Now. Thank you very much. Solidarity. Solidarity to everybody that's showing support out here. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what they mean right recapping uh uh Ruby uh just posted back in saying yeah, restreaming. So yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, solidarity to the people who are continuing to watch this. Yeah. Some of these people have been here the whole time. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so like way to be. You know, you gotta wonder, are they watching because they're you know, truly supporting, or are they watching because they're supporting and they're wanting to see, <laughs> are you going to get our heads bashed in or, or pepper sprayed or tased? Don't tase me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know, this is a cool action. I've never seen something like this. Let's throw a tent up in the middle of a freaking police station and barricade their front doors and then... <laughs> you know, most people try to avoid police stations and, and you know, we're actively occupying it. Yeah, you know. Daniel here is getting some good sleep. Though. <laughs> All those little, that metal detector really give him a brain workout. <laughs> Yeah, I guess North, yeah. So yeah, Occupy World News now is, uh, is streaming. We have a few people that's streaming. Oh my gosh, that's cool. <laughs> they say they watch and support. <laughs> LOL, we love all occupiers, especially ones inside police departments. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Solidarity? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. I know what they're meaning. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I might not be going to work again tonight because I think I'm probably going to be just crashed somewhere, right? <laughs> Very true. That's actually how I feel. I mean, I, it says here I feel some do watch for the action, some to be witnesses, most to support and stand in solidarity. Definitely. That's why we pay attention. 
I mean, that's what you need, right? Yeah, we know what you mean, Ruby. <laughs> no worries. So this is incredibly meta. <laughs> I'm being live streamed while I watch a live stream so I can talk on live stream. You know, this is like a freaking, uh, uh yeah, what is that exhibit? Me. You should check out that world news now. Yo, dog, I heard you like live stream, so you put a live stream in your live stream so you can live stream while you live stream. <laughs> the more you know, the more you know you don't know. Yeah, check out uh, that world news now. See what's going on on there. <laughs> Bet you it's the same thing, right? <laughs> Usually when we occupy police stations, we are in cuffs. <laughs> no worries. I'll talk to you when you get back. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're talking about Norris Channel. Uh, I'm asking my uh, brother here to go to his channel, check it out, and uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna be jumping on here soon. Okay, let's try and get another tag going on. Uh, Occupy World News now. as soon as I get this done. I'm not trying it. Um, can we get a like, direct link to that? Because I'm not finding it. Uh, my brother's asking for a direct link to uh, Occupy World News Now. If uh, someone would be graciously able to pop up a link so we can uh, get to that. We'd like to check it out and uh, subscribe or whatever. Occupied World News Now. So O C C U P I E D World News Now. Did you catch that when he sent that? Yeah, I'm looking I'm looking Good morning. I don't know if it'll allow you to do that anyways, even if they send you directly.
I mean, if it's sent through a Twitter feed, maybe. Because I think the responses that we're getting is showing up on Twitter. My responses are back or going out on fi on my yeah, Facebook and Twitter. Twitter. Hmm? They're not coming back into I think they're coming back into Twitter, aren't they? No. No, they're not? It's just through here? Yeah. So I'm loading up my page with all <laughs> Not even seeing anything back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Check it out for more local news of what's going on here in Honolulu at facebook.com revolution Nova, same spelling as the channel here. Um, also, we have Facebook.com Occupy Honolulu for the main site for uh, Occupy Honolulu. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not Well, if somebody can uh, figure out how to get a link sent to uh, at, Occupy, uh, at Occupy Honolulu on Twitter. Or at iZombies. Or at iZombies. Either one of those. Um, we'll be able to retrieve that and uh, get this going. For some reason, uh, the search, it most likely has to do with a mobile device. You know, once you have it, you got it, but it's finding it. So, you know how some of these... Uh, uh, the apps work, you know, they don't give you full capabilities, so he's having issues trying to find it. Um, oh, it's because it's live stream. Oh, we're on the wrong thing, okay. So, www.livestream.com forward slash Occupy World News now. Thank you very much. Uh, he's going to check that out now. Marathon Occupy. <laughs> I gotta, I have to like join live stream. You don't have the app? What? Why would I have the app? I have the live stream app. No, I don't. You don't want, you don't? No. Download the live stream app, man. Just get it done. You should, man, because a lot of the occupations are running off a of live stream. Yeah, that doesn't mean I am. <laughs> <laughs> Astronomical. <laughs> I am most definitely going to go over my uh, data allotment. You know, ATT is probably bitching right now about my like, what the hell is this guy doing? Throttle that dude down! <laughs> He's causing a ruckus at the H3D. <laughs> oh wow, that's a cool pig. I like that. Good background. Who did you get that at? Um, uh, HD wallpapers. Mm -hmm. It's an app. <laughs> did you see what I got for the lock screen? 
Yeah, Ruby who says, you need live stream, dear. <laughs> I got the live streams and the Twitters and the such. No, well, live stream's good. A lot of occupations. Some of the, some of the good, uh... Occupy World News now. I found it. You want to try and plug me in? Yeah. Okay. They're going to need a PayPal and unlimited plan, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, there's like... What are you doing? So it's a side-by-side -side video of us and then some other thing going on. That's kind of cool. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Turn it down. That's awesome. So what did you do, download the app? Yeah, it just told me slow connection audio only. That's very cool. Okay. Well, I'm using your charger right now. Oh, you mean the charger? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yep, we found this site. Um, he's got it up and going. Right now, we're currently uh, deciding on using what we found as an outlet because <laughs> they got to plug in their magneto machine here <laughs> as an extra outlet. So we're gonna, huh? Is he watching? You know the cameras are watching us. Well, maybe look. Well, what's that right over there? What's that box with the red light? We're gonna figure this out. There you go. How's it? Can you get a restroom in there? Sure. I don't know where it is. That way, and I think to your left. <laughs> I felt this so good to have that plugged in. Aww. What did he say? He advised me to unplug the equipment. <laughs> Coming in to Occupy Honolulu. Here's mainstream story was stole was stole in quotes. Like it's not Hmm. Okay. Let's find out what's going on here.
Okay, we're trying to find out what the story is with uh, some of these people. things in and right now I'm trying to find out I just got a message that I'm trying to find coming out knock you okay this must be the photo okay let's see mainstream story was stole in quotes like it's not a real thing hmm interesting right let's see what the story says Occupy HPD earlier voting early voting ends on one on one with Jordan Occupy Honolulu protesters protesters moved to police headquarters. We're following development news involving Occupy Honolulu's protests this morning. A small group has set a new encampment right outside of Honolulu Police Department headquarters. Um no. They've been here for about 13 hours now. The protesters claim city workers stole their belongings from Thomas Square and they won't leave HPD until city employees, including the housing director, are arrested. Other protester claim, claims he was assaulted by a police officer who has pushed him. Uh, Ramsey Wharton will have the latest news on Sunrise. Hmm. Yeah. Um, they showed us being here and what they said that we were outside of HPD and here we're clearly sitting inside HPD. But um <laughs> I mean we threw a tent up inside HPD. It's just the media that's just trying to play it off as whatever. That's cool though. My bad, had speakers turned down. <laughs> um, so, Athens Live and Honolulu. Thank you both. We are live with Athens. That's who the, who the other one is. <laughs> Co paparazzi is always watching. <laughs> Lawyers use those outlets every day. You know that's very true. We all know that. But, uh, you know, they don't like us because <laughs> we're sitting in the middle of here telling them what to do. <laughs> or demanding something, however you want to put it. Same thing. But, yeah. Lawyers come in and they're all like, oh, oh, please, sir, please, sir. I need to this. I need to that. We say, no, no, no. Bad boys, do your job. <laughs> What's your battery doing, dude? What's your battery like? What's your battery like? On here? Yeah. It's at 93 right now. 93, okay. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up. I'll Okay, so we're gonna walk around here. We have this issue where they don't want to allow us to uh, plug in. 
So I'm on a head hunt for a uh, outlet. Watch them all follow me around and wonder, hey, what's that dude doing? <laughs> I seem to know of a similar little place, if I recall, it used to have an outlet, so we'll find out if it's still there. Somewhere where I don't think they're going to go running all over Hell's Acre to go get. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Isn't that an interesting concept? We don't allow you to plug in. Lordy, lordy, we like to party. <laughs> oh, blocked off and cut off. Okay, that bites. Oh, look at we got TV crews. Hotty dotty. We used to like the party. I found another one. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be locked, but there is a pin on it somehow, so I gotta take a look at that. But right now we got camera crews over across the way, seemingly being very interested in what's going on here. As you heard from the one uh, report that we're reading off, uh, they were going to send a reporter by. They suggested in the story that they would send a reporter by to actually figure out what's going on. Oh, I know her. Definitely. She's been pretty cool. Real reporter. Yeah, people are waking up on the islands here. Uh, we're definitely getting some attention now, so I'm thinking that the fun's about to get, begin. We are now at 5.35 a.m. The offices open up at 8 a.m. We'll see what happens.
Okay. Alright, Andrew. You may end up oh, taking over my stream. I dealt with this one before. We have a TV. We have a real reporter right now. She's one of the regulars. Things are picking up in Hawaii. It is 5.37. So we have a whole two and a half hours. Our office is open. 14 hour occupation so far. Right. <laughs> Truly the marathon occupied. For something that we thought was going to end in minutes. Right? <laughs> he thought it was just going to be uh, getting arrested in all the way. <laughs> they're just trying to wait us out. But never underestimate the power of in unemployed hippies. What is this? You know. Amber Crombie, our governor, used to be a hippie and a very big activist. Gotta wonder what he's thinking. Ooh, I used to do that. Right. <laughs> you went I wish I wouldn't have sold out. <laughs> Neil Abercrombie voted in because of his activism that he did on the island and here he's still supporting what's going on on this island and allowing worse things to happen. So it kind of went better to halfway decent to oh my god we're just totally screwed up to what the hell is going on now to leaving people die on the street because, you know, it's cheaper. Thanks, Amber Crombie. Thank you, Mary Carlisle. And thank you, Tulsi Gabbard. Well, if Amber Crombie still thinks of himself as a hippie and uh, a true activist, then why would these things be going on here in the uh, state of Hawaii? He's our governor, and uh, I haven't seen him do any great deeds to help this out. I don't know. I do know that he has brought a lot of money for the houseless community. Uh, and sent it on its way to the city and county. That's why we're not protesting the state because we do know that he has a lot of a lot of funds for it. What I want is uh, the city and county to be audited themselves, just to make sure that the money is actually being lo located the way that the state uh, meant for it to be. That the money was actually used in the fashion that it was supposed to be used, and not just to go beating and stealing from the houseless. So. I think that's an appropriate action for Neil Abercrombie to do. I would say that's an appropriate action. Yeah, we're not we're not telling them to collapse this whole system right there then and there. Investigate it. Use his employees that he pays hundreds of thousands of dollars to investigate the situation and see if it's actually uh, effective in the manner in which the city and county has chosen to deal with the situation. 
They say that the Occupy movement doesn't have agendas, that we don't have demands, we don't have criteria, we don't, you know, we're unorganized, this and that. It's just because people are unable to see the, uh, the, the very means of how easy it is to solve the issues that we ask. You know, for Neil Abercrombie to say, hey, I don't think you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing because I still have a whole mess of Hawaiians. I still have a whole mess of citizens, taxpayers even, living on the streets. What's going on? I want to see, I want to see where you're spending this money and how you're spending it. He gets the paperwork and if he sees that it's being used appropriately, fine. Then obviously we don't have enough funds being allotted to it. Or if he finds that it's not effective in how it was originally thought out how to be used to maybe change up the plan. Or if they're just using the money for arbitrary means that has, you know, no real way of solving the issue, then he needs to pull the funds and put people in place that will actually do something with the money like it's supposed to because it's in that uh, embezzlement. If they're not using the money in the way it was entrusted, it's embezzlement. So, it's nice to easy standards. You know, it, it, it's easy how to solve the houseless issue and the city and county be able to keep their money. And it's nice and easy for the state to be able to say, hey, there's a serious problem here. We have a group of people sitting in the middle of HPD with tents <laughs> demanding two, people, two cabinet members to be arrested. What the hell is going on? It's that easy. Well, I have to give mad props to, uh, there's a suggestion for uh, uh, Brian Schultz. I actually like him. I've talked to him several times. He uh, is the one that signed for me to go to uh, the state convention as a state delegate. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. And uh, this individual here says he has him on his uh, Twitter account. I know I have him on my Facebook, but I'm not able to utilize that right now. But uh, that, that'd be great if people start uh, writing to him and asking him if he can uh, lend a hand to find out what the what is going on. You know, I think that is a very good move. And uh, anybody that wants to help, uh, we have the Twitter account as at Brian Schultz, S C H A T Z. That's Brian Schultz or Shots, actually. Sorry. Uh, B-R-I-A-N-S-C-H-A-T-Z. Taking, uh, write him on his Twitter account. They're blowing him up and asking him what is going on here in Hawaii and why is there so many houseless and what is, and why is, uh, the city and county of Honolulu beating and stealing from the houseless. Bring to his attention that there's occupiers sitting in the middle of HPD with tents, barricading their front entrance, demanding that two cabinet members be arrested for crimes. And why isn't anything being done? Hippies do not allow such abuse. That is correct. That's why I don't believe he is one. He claims he was. He still has long hair, but uh, I don't think hair makes you a hippie. I think, uh, right, he lost his way. He was uh, bought into the system and let the system buy him off. It, that's all I see. If Amber Crombie really cared, we wouldn't have been camping out at Baratania and Ward. Especially for as long as we have. I mean, we're hitting up on a year really soon here. Uh, what is our occupation is like, what, like 311 days or something like that? And then our uh, camp, our camp is 278 days? Huh? You seen that from Doug? Is that the one that I was talking about? To read it off, what's it say? But the Occupy Honolulu protesters set up a new encampment at the Honolulu Police Department's headquarters on South Baratania Street, asserting that city workers improperly seize their items. 
The presence quickly caused tension as one protester claimed he was assaulted by a police officer who pushed him aside at the entrance about 6 p.m. Wednesday. Andrew W. said 28 said he was seated in the, in the walkway to the metal detector when an officer shoved him while walking by, making him hit head on the metal detector. He said another officer urged the first officer to go inside the building. Police called an ambulance and checked on Smith, who was not hurt. Police confirmed a third degree assault case was opened involving the officer. Smith said protesters decided to occupy the police station at about 3.30 p.m. after losing their items, which were set up at Ward Avenue in South Virginia Street. He said city workers tagged the camp roof items around about 12.30 p.m. Tuesday, giving the owners of the items 24 hours to remove them. The protesters carried away their items before the 24-hour deadline Wednesday and replaced them with untagged items in front of a police supervisor and city housing coordinator, Trish Markow, said that city workers took the items anyway, he said. Protesters lost nine tents, bedding, and other personal items. I will not leave this building until Trish Markow and Wes Chan, the director of the city's Department of Facilities Maintenance, are arrested for, for theft, Smith said. We are not letting this one go. He said he filed a theft case with police. About five protesters were still sitting in the main entrance to the station about 10 p.m. Wednesday. One protester, Christopher Smith, 40, who is also a member of the McKeegee Neighborhood Board and brother of Andrew Smith, said a police supervisor watched as the protesters removed their items from the park Wednesday afternoon. He, the police sergeant, even admitted that he watched us remove the items, place them in a car, and that those items that were there were not part of what was actually tagged, he said. Mad props to Star Advertiser for getting the facts right. Right. Um, it wasn't, it didn't seem biased, he just said the story of what's no, going on. this is That's matter of the be. fact, right to the point. Are you just, what is that? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're this patient. Is, this is the funny one. This is not, you would have wished it was HPD. HPD. Fucking bitter. I promise to God, I thought it was an attack on fucking Pearl Harbor. The fucking, I promise to God, this is not a good one. You would have this is shit. They gave me fucking guns and they gave me promises to fucking die. I mean, it's fucking, it's fucking you. I mean, man, something about it. Is there anybody who, and it's not even my own place. And apparently it's only him. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't know, I'm going to violate my own thing. Right. But yeah, that that was a good uh, that was a good report. It, it it wasn't biased in either direction. No, it, matter, it, it just, matter of fact. Um, yeah. What's it taking for? We're cruising up the. Uh, what's that? I don't know. I guess my friend's place is off. The, what is that? The uh, coastline of Pearl Harbor. Okay. There's like a bike trail, but if you go on the opposite side, it's the HPD, but if you go on the water side, it's bigger. Hmm. But it's only him. Well, oh, craziness. craziness. So, yeah, uh, but anyhow, I thought that was fair and non biased. It just stated the report of why we're here, of what we're claiming of why we're here. You know, so, uh, yeah. Good job, Star Advertiser. Y News now is still uh, out there prepping and getting ready for uh, what's going on. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Of course. That's true. So the photo that they used is of me and Maddie. They had four zillion cops in NYC yesterday. A Garcia Mansion for four ladies in wheelchairs and three live streamers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nuts uh, what was going on with the, the disabled. I didn't hear about it. Yeah, I didn't hear about it until we started doing this and they started telling us about it. That's, uh, that's interesting. 
Yes, Ruby, yes, it was a good report. I'm very glad that they uh, wrote it like that. Birds are out and the light is shining. We're definitely hitting morning time. Almost 6 a.m. We're just a couple hours out. How's it going, man? Pretty good. And I have, as you can see, uh, we have a bunch of officers that's lined up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, cars. And uh, officers for them each are already standing on the side here. And we have the two individuals that's up there. So and we got seven officers standing around us now. <laughs> Interesting time. Here, hold this for a sec so I can uh, open this. <sighs> hold it like a normal person. Show it around. You just put your, put your face on camera. Yeah, uh, You're on candy camera. <laughs> Not at, at all. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, overkill is definitely the new norm. Funny games, right? Not this last raid that caused us to come down here, but the raid before, they showed up with bulldozers, all sorts of dump trucks, just a whole array of just heavy equipment for a single tag in Huh? Yeah, yeah, this is one of our tents. No, what was this? Uh, yesterday. Oh. Yeah, yesterday. No, this is the funny part. I almost myself that my friend had. We had pay phones and dimes. You have tents and live streamers. <laughs> exactly. You know, yeah, it's a different age for sure. Did you hear this? Uh, Ruby just jumped on saying, uh, we have pay phones and dimes. You have tents and live streaming. <laughs> That's a very good, uh, uh, contrast. Same events, but uh, how they progress. Who is that? Hello. Hmm. What was that? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Definitely things are becoming more alive here in Honolulu. <laughs> Not that hard. Very easy, very easy situation to take care of. picking up on viewers here. Oh my. I don't know if you guys can see, but we have Hawaii News now on the other side doing an interview with a gentleman. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably disgruntled about the Occupy camp. Does anyone want to see the real problem? Like, yeah, well, you know, it was a fair. It was a fair. But don't, don't sit there and think that they're not going to put one fair for the opposing party either. Yeah. You know. But, I can handle fair. Right, you just state the facts, and that's it. What's with HPD this morning? Well, HPD is just trickling in now, and uh, we've been here for over 14 hours. Uh, we've blockaded the, the entrance. We have tents inside and outside, and... Uh, we have people sitting in front of their building, underneath their huge building here, underneath the awning here. But anyhow, uh, we're just waiting to see what they're going to do. We made a, we placed a demand. We want Trish Morikawa of uh, the housing for the homeless and uh, Wesley Chun, the department head for. Uh, what is it? Department of Facility yeah, Department of Facility Maintenance, both arrested for crimes of theft against the Occupy movement and the houseless. And uh, we're refusing to leave until they uh, rectify the situation. See, Daniel woke up, so uh, we'll talk to Daniel and find out what's going on. So, what's going on with that dude? Yeah, she was on the regular cop, and uh, she, she keeps doing this, getting arrested. Say what? She said I'm not a regular cop. She shows me something that's like, supposed to be a badge or something. Right. I, I don't know, I couldn't tell. He's not a regular cop. He might get arrested. Okay then. 
Break to smoke. <laughs> um, being a smoking occupier has to have its drawbacks. But we are still here, and the criminals West Chun and Trish Morikawa are still at large. You know, I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they are looking for them and they fled. They're so hiding in their multi-million dollar homes. <laughs> or more than likely, they tip them off that this is going on. And so Trish decided to take a spot egg. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know what West does for fun. He probably found a chance so he could take home a signal in the head. And that's the most egregious offense. Is watching them high five each other and smile and laugh while they steal and destroy. You know, I, I, I could have some sympathy for them if they acted like perhaps they were put in a bad position and we're having to make a moral choice. But when you're laughing and giving each other high fives and telling each other great job, that demonstrates clearly that they take joy in what's going on. They enjoy the fact that they are employed by a corrupt mayor to steal and beat on people. These are not the type of city officials that Honolulu needs. We need a management change. We need a mayor who cares for people. We need department heads whose job is to actually solve problems and not just steal and beat and harass people. I can't imagine why this is such a hard concept. Yeah. Oh, this seems pretty hard for them. We, we, we definitely need a police force that enforces the law and doesn't take this stance of we're only here to keep the peace. No. Uh, Ruby says it's because they're bullies. They are bullies. They probably got picked on in high school. <laughs> I mean, hell, I'm an IT major. I get it. West Chun was an engineering major. He was probably one hell of a dork in high school. <laughs> he probably got picked on every day, and now's his chance for payback. Because he thinks he's hot shit. Well, regardless. But he's a two-bit hack civil engineer. He should be out selling potholes. Well, that's actually what he was hired to do, is uh, to instruct his uh, crew to fill potholes. But as we found out, the crew that fills potholes has more authority than HPD. Apparently. That's, well, they're allowed to rust and beat and steal from people and enforce laws when they're not law enforcement. I don't know what else that means.
DFM and HPD. DFM and the Director of Housing. Housing. Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. They're the ones that was leading the whole thing that happened. Director of Facility Maintenance and the Director of Housing. Yes. Yeah. I personally filed uh, reports naming Trish Morikawa as a uh, terrorist. <laughs> You know, when she threatens people by putting them in crisis, threatens people to steal their homes and breaks into their homes and steal their stuff, you know, illegally, I don't know what else that is. Especially when they keep doing it repeatedly. As far as I'm concerned, that's a terrorist. They didn't want to deal with that. They didn't want to deal with the theft reports. They didn't want to deal with the violence reports. So... <laughs> but they'll jump all over you if you steal a Twinkie. Solidarity to Hawaii. <laughs> Well, this is the place where they're supposed to go when you see the crime. 
Right. The guy actually asked me, the agent guy, said, has, has anyone helped you? And I said, no, that's a good question. <laughs> I haven't been helped. Yet. They should be, you think they take you in and, uh, you know, work with you and try to help you identify the person and let you know the names. Yeah. Do you think they bring us in the court and, um, you know, bring them in the court and, and then we have our, each have our respective evidence and we have all our footage, right? You, yep. Um, I witnessed it uh, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if those two people hey. you met. Here, Andy, take hey. this. How are you? Pretty good. I saw your uh. brother at the whole Pele. This your brother, right? Yeah. And I, at first, when I saw him, I thought, she's lost a lot of weight. Right? Similar, right? I want to get your thoughts real quick on uh, sure. taking a position here and the reaction to the resident across the street. Sure. Okay. Why don't they come over here? Hey, Nova! Nova! Why don't they come over here? Let them do their thing, man. Well, they should see what we're doing. Alright. Hey, you wanna hold this really quick so I, can, I gotta send a message out real quick? Yeah. I cannot see anything. Why do you think they have them over there? Instead of showing what we're doing. I don't like that. I don't trust... I don't trust the reporters and how they edit them. Uh, trying to no one knows something. her. He says she's cool, so... Mm. Well, I guess cool is a relative thing. and She might be cool compared to the other ones. It doesn't mean... Uh, any coverage is good coverage, man. What you can get. Well, I don't know. I would say we're not going to interview you until you come over here. Well, we don't want to burn your bridges. If, uh, if she's fair, then uh, we'll have to 
They shouldn't be acting like, oh yeah, you're lucky we get to, you lucky you get an interview from us. Like that. They're lucky to get the interview off. That's bullshit. She asked you. She wanted to know if uh, we plan on occupying this metal detector because it's placing officers in jeopardy. I said, well, why is metal detector placing, you know, the, the obstruction of this metal detector placing in jeopardy when the people out on this island are in fear of their life? Yeah. Why aren't they out there protecting fear, them? They're, they're fear of their property at the very yeah. least. For 16 hours now, yeah. we're sitting out here. And they should have been out there finding them and arresting the people that's, that's causing the atrocities to happen throughout the island. And people may not have as much sympathy for us and our political movement, but what we're doing, though, is setting a precedent, or what they are doing, is setting a precedent to be used in Waianae, right. on native Hawaiians that are on, on, the, on the beach, on uh, Micronesians who have not received the federal funding that they were promised. Right. And if they're allowed to do that to us, then they can do it to them easier. And so we're making a stand here and saying, fine, if you want to, like, you know, let some criminals go, you might as well arrest some innocent people because I witnessed this. I'm a citizen. There's no reason why you should be ignoring me. Yeah. And when I'm coming to the police station to uh, tell you, or you guys have, you guys Actually, maybe what I should do first is go in and complain or whatever. But well, you know, know. We're, we're, if you look at it correctly, the way I want to look at it is that we're just standing in line. They say we're obstructing people from going through here. Yeah. I don't believe I'm obstructing anyone because they haven't helped us in the way that's needed. Yeah, they haven't helped okay, us. Okay, so we're standing in line to be helped. One police officer came here. He came here and gave me his name. But he was, said he was a special police officer. He didn't have a regular badge and he wore a shirt. He said... Can I, can I, can you help, can anyone help you? And that's a good question, because I haven't been helped. Um, and I was witness to people taking other people's property in such a way that they could not prove that it was the same 
even if it seems likely, like, you know, the, the hands look similar as slightly before, the fact of the matter is, the, the way this law is structured, um, there's no way to prove that all the um, things in that tent, or that even those tents are the same tents, you know what I mean? Or that we haven't technically moved them out of the way to a private location. Um, well, but we have proof for that, and even Sergeant Santos agrees that he knows, you know, that we actually did likely, remove it. Yeah, so, likely, yeah. well, he actually named off the car. He knew the car. He knew everything. He said he'd watch us do it. So, you know, the very people that's enforcing this is saying that, yes, we know for sure, yeah. but then tell us this isn't a problem between us and HPD, that it's a problem between uh, us and DFM. I say no. HPD, they broke the law. They need to do something about yeah. it. Yeah. It's simple. That's their job. You know. Right. You know, and if they had their hands tied because of some higher power that wouldn't allow them to do anything there, okay. Yeah. So we come to you after the fact, yeah. and we're asking for something to be done. Yeah. And so we're standing in line until we're helped. Yeah. And even, it, even so to, I, to I, go after us to say that we're obstructing, we're not obstructing, we're asking for help. Yeah, you are obstructing us. Right. So we are obligated to stay here and assist as citizens. Exactly. You know I mean? um, and them as citizens should help us if they want to make things, if you want to facilitate things for the rest of the citizenry, you know what I mean, if they want to help all the citizens and police officers get through here and be safe, then they should start by, um, you know, doing what they, what their job is, basically, which is, you know, protecting and serving the public by arresting those who commit crimes, and, um, and I believe it is a crime to take someone else's property um, if they if it's not unsanctioned by the law and uh, in this case it wasn't um, yeah but we also have to recognize that some laws are just wrong to have to begin with yeah. you know to That's steal true. someone's medication and steal their uh, things that they need to uh, live yeah. to survive yeah. That's just wrong in general. Yeah. You know, it's illegal to criminalize uh, homelessness. Yeah. So why are you going to steal from them? Yeah. You know, that just shows. Okay, we'll agree. It's illegal to be houseless, but uh, because you're houseless, we're just going to beat and steal from you. We're going to make your life almost impossible to be able to get yourself off the street. Yeah. We're going to be. We're going to push you down so hard that you either commit suicide or. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been here for over 16 hours now. I'm here at 3.30 yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I have a We had tents popped up right here. <laughs> November uh, 5th. November 5th, 2011, right? Right. Yep. Right. Yeah, we're the longest running encampment in the world right now. It's the what? We're the longest occupying encampment in the world right now. Uh, I believe, I believe it was, uh, Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. No, not, not anywhere near compared to us. <laughs> yep. I don't know if that's such a good angle to be having. Because then they can be like, oh yeah, look how, look how nice we're treating them. They're taking advantage of us. We've been here for so long. You know? Let's know see, what do we got? Uh, but they're right going right. to want to move your stuff. Uh, what, what's this? What's going on?
three back into this. Okay, um, so when they open, you will go in uh, complaints. Good. You can go in when they open and ask for investigator officers. Ask about status of complaints, but they're going to want to move yourself. Okay, yeah, that seems reasonable. Dean Street, that's right, exactly. Uh, yeah, there was Dean Street and, uh, well, no, I thought Dublin was one of them, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, but Dean Street was definitely up there, too, yeah. But that's cool, you know, I mean, it, you know, it's, that, I think that's what we need to do, is once they open up, we, open, you know, we stand back in line and say, hey, you know, we go through complaints, we do whatever, and that's what we're here for, right? Yeah. So... Well, our comment is that the complaints have already been made and they haven't acted on it yet. Yeah, well, you want to... I, I can inquire about... That's what I would do. The status of it, but I you wanna, We want to talk to investigators. Yeah. We want to find out what's going on. Yeah. So, you know, this is an easy ordeal. They can, be, you know, bump this up or whatever they have to do for the right people to see it and say, okay... This is how we're going to handle this. You know. It's all about doing it right. We want a peaceful movement. We need to be peaceful. If they want to keep it peaceful, they need to be willing to work with us like we're working with them. And I don't believe anyone out there doesn't say we're not trying to work with them right now. So... <laughs> You know, some would say, oh, it's, it's, it's easy to be homeless in Hawaii because it's nice and warm and um, so we need to do something. To you have that in Nevada, too. And Arizona. Utah. California. Well, yeah, so it's still good. So they say we need a law to make sure, otherwise there will be just tents everywhere and But, you know, they say we will not be able to uh, live stream I've the seen, security I've checkpoint. Seen, I've seen too many, like, oh, no. there's, there's old people, bro, especially Hawaiian. I went around, and there's old Hawaiians, native people, who are homeless. Um, and they are, you know, constantly pushed around. And... They, you guys were there when they kicked off the beach, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Four days. And... I don't know. I guess... It's Bill 54 law... How they try and take little loopholes like that. Because. Um, what does the bill state? Do you remember? It says that. I believe it says that. If it is not removed from public property um, in 24 hours, then it will be removed and then taken. Yeah, it could be confiscated. So, is being in a tent public property or private property? Hmm? So what if something is inside a tent? Is that public property or private property? Well, it's our property. Yeah. Right? So, that means that this bill um, is not... It's just, it doesn't make sense. The bill is a dysfunctional. Right. And uh, it, when you make a dysfunctional bill, that doesn't mean you can, uh, you know, act outside of the bill to make it work. You know. Right. It means you have to go and remake it. You know. And um, find a better way. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if we should even get into the issue of 
if it's a good deal or not, then maybe you should go and work really hard to, uh, I don't know, become a congressman or, or just bring awareness and uh, get people to not support it. But in this case, when it's a clear issue of, you know, they committing a crime out of convenience, it seems like the place to go is the police station. Um, and uh, though I may get arrested, I think I will be vindicated. I hope I will be. It'll be interesting to see how this um, all plays out. Like how they treat someone like me. How much attention I get um, from those who have the power to make a difference. Like those who have the authority to uh, hold those accountable for the actions that, you know, committed crimes. Uh, they say they're baffling us with bullshit. Yeah. Well, because it is baffling, right? I mean, it's like, what, what, where did this kind of nonsense come from? Yeah. Who, who in their right mind says this? I would like to see Amber Crombie, the mayor, Tulsi, just sit there and just go up and walk up to their mother, father, neighbor, child, uh, business worker, co-worker, you know, gym uh, mate, locker, whatever, and, and just go up and kick them in the head and steal their stuff. And say, ha ha ha, well, it's never, legal. They never kicked anyone, but... Yes, they did. You weren't there for it. Oh, and... Yeah. At our camp. Really? Yes. Kick yes. Did you get on tape? No, I was the one that was in the, in the tent. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? They kicked right. people in the tent? Oh, yes. I didn't see that though. Yeah, you weren't there at that time. Yeah. Well, so I did see people taking out people's stuff, though. Even though, um, technically, it may have not have been there for a day. All the things that they took. And, uh, that's why, um, it's one of the reasons. Like, if you're going to make an unfair law, you want to make it functional. I mean, that's I guess where I'm at right now. Because it's kind of sad that that's where I draw the line. I should be drawing lines that, you know, we should be drawing lines that unfair laws, but for me, I think, I think if the law was, like if the law is unfair, but at least it's technically legal, that's more complicated, that's different, that's more... Then it's like, you choose, oh, wow, but, you know, are you going to be part of such a system that allows this thing to happen? Are you going to try to work against it, um, you know, repeal the law or something? You have to try to just try to involve the politics? Um, I guess that's what I would do. I would kind of played by the book. You should, you should be an upstanding citizen that follows all the laws whether they're good or not and try to change it. I guess what's frustrating is that, you know, people with money, easier. Well, like this uh, person stated, uh, keep in mind you have a short time to decide how this plays out. We have riots over chalk. It's quite insane. We have riots over chalk? Yes. Where? On the west coast. Over chalk? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, they come in and start doing all their insane activities that you've heard on the west coast, like Oakland, Oakland and L.A. and San Francisco and, you know, all these different cities over chalk. What chalk? Because they're drawing chalk on the sidewalk. I just think that uh, we need to still work with them. Okay. You know, keep our mind, keep our mindset, and uh, realize what the real fight is here for.
they know that we're here for a real reason. Yeah. That they need to address this purpose. We it's need, not like I want to get arrested. We're, we're looking myself. for them, for those two individuals to get arrested for their crimes like any, anybody else would be. So don't go out of your way. Keep it peaceful. What time is that? I'm going to throw away something. Uh, 637. Lani says, love you guys. I'm saying, love you too. instructing them to act in this manner. So right now I think uh, Wesley Chun and uh, Trisha Morikawa needs to learn that, hey, at what point do you decide yourself what's right and wrong? If you know it's wrong, you can still go out there and see everybody. You can say hi. You can, you know, bring some food and drink and you can do whatever you need to do to show that you're still going around the island and dressing the houseless issue, but instead of going around beating and stealing their stuff, say, hey, found some housing over here. Or I have these people that might be able to help you with your physical or mental needs. Hey, I have a program that might offer some job training. And then what is Meryl Carlisle going to say? Is he going to be mad? Really? How is he going to get mad? You know, as long as the people are getting off the street, if they're helping more people in a more efficient manner and costing the citizens less, it's win-win for everyone. It, it's for our community, the citizens, our government, and the city, city workers. It helps everyone. It's just simple. It's not hard. You know... I've watched Wes and Trish give people high fives and laugh when they're clearing hands out and destroying people's property. You know, it, it's one thing if you're ordered to do it and you know it's wrong and you make a choice to do it. You know, that, that's in and of itself bad that they didn't make the correct choice. But it's abundantly clear that they take they take glee in this. They think it's fun. They give each other high fives and say good job and smile and laugh while they're destroying lives. These are sociopaths. Well, we got a thing. Uh, if you decide to go in and, and investigate your complaints. Can someone hold your stuff? Well, there's three of us here, well, four of us actually, but one of them's still sleeping. There's three of us here, so, yeah, that's not a problem. We'll figure that out. Okay. 
I think we do need to move this stuff up better with the table and stuff just kind of <laughs> spread out from the sleeping. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, these are sociopaths that are employed by the city. How are you going to take joy in being harassing and stealing from people? Especially members of our society who can least afford it, who need the most protection. They've already shown a, a disinterest in actually investigating. You know, I was told very early on that they were taking this seriously and that the investigators were looking at it, yet I have yet to talk to an investigator. How do they know what video that we have? They haven't watched it. Well, they all know about me use stream and everything, so... You know, I'm pretty sure they're watching it now. <laughs> when they block my stuff, they're able to watch my stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. to be real, yeah, I have uh, what is it, like four or five thousand people that watch this. <laughs> They've made no effort to communicate where they are in the investigation, how it's being handled, and in the meantime, I was assaulted by an officer. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go have a cigarette down there. That assault could have not taken place had they done their job properly. We would have never been here. So. They say they will be here uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed very soon. Well, we have an hour for that to happen, so we'll see. <laughs> Ow. Ah, dang. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Lulz. Sun is rising. There's a good Bob Marley song right there. Uh, sun is shining. Yeah. I think I need to get some Bob Marley going. Definitely alive right now. Yeah, it's just their single little tent here. <laughs> you know, I thought it was quite funny when we had one sitting inside there. When it was sitting inside, that was just great. <laughs> that was classic. that uh, people are able to uh, come to terms and realize that there is an issue that needs to be solved here and we just do this rationally.
I'm pretty sure both Trish and Wesley Chun has already been uh, told what's going on. If not, they're definitely turning on their TVs and seeing what's going on. <laughs> so they're having an interesting morning, choking on their uh, cereal and coffee and whatever else they do in the morning, wondering, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Uh, Honolulu Police Department. Oh yeah, definitely. I I know what M NYPD would be doing. But you know, at the same time, I mean, they've been down here at our camp. <laughs> we still stay. Looking at our camp down the down the road there about a block away. I don't think you can see it because the uh, quality of, of uh, video that this is, but uh, looks like most of our attempts are already up and, uh, you know, they're rebuilding our camp during the night and uh, keeping the video editing and everything going. Everybody's turning their heads though, like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, jeez. Waiting on the world to change. <laughs> like well, when you guys came here and filed reports, what what happened? You waited here, they let you in, you went and um talked to somebody and I filed several reports. You know, for theft and for uh assault for just a wide variety of uh View from the metal detector. Yeah, Daniel, who's been a little trooper and suck it out the whole time. We got uh, another occupier in the tent down there. Uh, I'm anxiously awaiting for uh, 7:45 to roll around. Uh, one way or another, we should have a successful conclusion to this action. I would expect that that would be the arrest of Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. They do know, they know the law. They must have left them. Sure. They know exactly what they did was illegal. And HPD knows that what they did was illegal. 
I don't think it's an issue of... I don't know if they do, though. I hope they don't. Because that's bad if they do. Well, I think they know. I think they know. I think the issue is, is how does the administration want to handle it? Because it's it's going to look awfully bad for Carlisle in an election season to have two cabinet level directors arrested for theft. So they're going to have to balance this and, and juggle it. So we'll see how that happens. I just want I just want to make sure that they are aware of what's going on. We're actually covered up on the two hour mark for the live stream. We're at 112 minutes. So. I wonder what the record for longest live stream is. Hi. Absolutely. What exactly is it that you all are trying to achieve by sitting here in front of a federal detective? The arrest of Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. Standing in line to be held. I'm in a unique position because that guy over there is in cover by the police department of law.
not following the laws of stuff they say they're following. You're an elected representative? Yes. Yeah. complaint that I filed was three months ago. How long does it take to complete an investigation? Okay, what, what was your complaint? For theft and assault. Okay. Did anyone go to, to the hospital? It doesn't make any difference. I was assaulted here. It did, no, it does not. No, it does not, sir. I was assaulted just at six... You know what? If you're wasting his time because you've got a scratch on your cheek, then... I didn't go to the hospital when I was assaulted, and an officer was arrested today as a result. What I'm saying to you, though, is so that you didn't get justice. On that instance. But just because I didn't go to the hospital three months ago means absolutely nothing. In fact, I was a. Further to get you more press. In fact. Y'all are here to express the public point of view and get justice. You're here to make a show to make the police department. No, 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 no. Wesley Chun assaulted me in the presence of an officer three months ago, and nothing has been done about it. Okay, here's the thing. You all don't want justice. You want I to absolutely want justice. You want to show that you're unencumbered by the processes 
and laws that the police department are encumbered by. See, they can't do what they want to do and just say whatever they want to say and act how they want to act because they're bound by law. You all so are we. We're in full compliance with the law. You all feel that you're not bound by law or public policy. I absolutely don't feel that way. Like, come out here and, and make an ass to the police. And no, the police. No. The police can stand up for themselves. Maybe I'd like to. Maybe as a citizen who lives in this community, I'd like to stand up for the men who are charged with the safety. Because obviously you don't, you have no interest in, in the safety of the community. You have interest in expressing your public and, and political views. You have a strong stance for the police. That's fine. Why aren't you expressing the same police stand up for the police? They do stand up for me. When there's a disturbance in my neighborhood, I call them and within five minutes there's cops on my door. Okay. They take care of the problem. Okay. There's nothing damaging with that, right? What are, you, what are you talking about? We are not drilling into the sidewalk. There's nothing sticking in the sidewalk, man. I live in my damn car. And when I the police, every once in a while. An officer is dispatched down the town of Square because of complaints like that. You call blocking police equipment being respectful? Oh, so all you're here to do, all you, all you're here to do is stand in line, right? You're here to stand in line. You have no desire to impede any police process. I'm patiently yeah. waiting for Wes and Trish to be arrested. I'm not asking, have you been? I'm asking, do you have the desire? Well, we haven't been. We've been here for 16 hours. Why do you think do you, you have the desire to impede the process of no, people entering this building? No, I have the desire to make sure that justice is served. Okay, so you have no desire to impede the process of people entering this building? I have the desire to see that justice is served. Well, so, you personally feel that people should have the right to come to the smell detector and enter this building? I personally feel that everybody should have a right to be able to do what they need to do. Absolutely, I agree with you. Thank sure. you so sure. much. Sure. Please don't ask us that. Sir, 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 wait, no. Put it back. What you're doing right now is fine. Don't go this way. Okay. It's out. <laughs> I don't know, is that a theft case? No, he didn't actually do it, that was attempted. Attempted theft. Right, but he didn't actually walk you away. You are at 124 on your... We are here to do a right? That's the idea, right? Yeah, no, we're here to see this justice is served, are we Yeah, not? we want, but that's the way we're trying to get justice to be served, right? We have because the, the regular way that it works, right? This guy is an ass. Okay, so we have thousands of people sitting on here. Uh, this guy is an ass. We have the Constitution. <laughs> Is that an educated language? I don't believe anybody else. Heard. Well, thank you for allowing the public to see your views. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a reset here. I'll be right back on so we can make sure everything is recorded. Thank you.
he says, this individual says that houselessness and the theft and beating of the houseless is not as big of an issue as the drugs and uh, criminals in the streets. I don't understand that. <laughs> says that the Occupy movement has nothing to do with the houseless or the lower classes being subjected to the brutalities that's going on. It has nothing to do with economics. continue it because he really has no place to ever stand with what he was trying to say. Exactly. He hasn't been awake all night and he doesn't sound all educated. <laughs> He's talking to one of our occupiers named Daniel. I'm here in line patiently waiting for the investigators to be 
to show because the woman wanted to argue and argue and argue with me about whether or not that tent was staked down. Did you see us come out here with jackhammers? <laughs> like, no. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's way funny. Oh, my. So, yeah, it's I was informed no that at 7.15 we are going to be after Well, you can either make a stand or you can remove the sign and stand in line. Yeah, things have definitely livened up. <laughs> oh, man. they came out wondering if we had the tent staked into the ground. Here, hold on. Here, hold this.
I mentioned it to him. So I have no way of being able to. Uh, it's a group text if you want to read it. Yeah, I'm not able to uh, see what that's all about. It's a group text. It's like it was text to me as well if you want to read it. Okay. Backup, uh, yeah, as you see, decided not to show.
Good morning, guys. We have video backup on several sites. Hang on. Thanks for following along, though, Mike. Yeah. Some interest. It's been a long one. Yeah. It's been a lot more fun with the uh, chatter and the. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> chat room on the. Yeah, the live stream. Yeah, we got the some, social stream, yeah. We got some pretty hilarious people to keep us entertained. <laughs> so, morale is always good. Yeah, you know. I think he's just very confused about why we're here. Yeah. Well, he found out we're here for a whole other reason, and he didn't know what to say to that. So now he's just mad and just wants to raise the thing. And all he has to do is say, yeah, you know, why don't these guys uh, get to talk to an investigator? Let's see what the status is on this. Where is the complaint going? How is it going? Have they done their homework and started watching all these use streams? That's up. Have you seen the one that we've been talking about that shows all this atrocities happening? Backing, mirroring you guys. <laughs> like one percenter is justifying their money. Say what? In this game. Uh, I started tuning him out when uh, he was justifying his money. I had the chat with video, video on P Town if you want to have chat too. <laughs> oh man. This is such an easy deal, right? I just don't get it. Send an investigator out. Say, hey, what's up? What up, brother? Can we call local NLG? Get up there. No local NLG. Yeah, there is no uh, local NLG. Nope, no local NLG. We're out in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> closest landmass is like 2,000 miles away. <laughs> That's why some of the weird things happen out here like they do. Can't get to us easily. Can't leave as easily. <laughs> yep. 
We are officially at 16 hours. 16 hours. Two shift changes. Why not? I, uh, I don't know. What is it like? Uh, how many hours of flight is that? That's a huge flight to try and get all the way out here. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That's what they tell us. I don't know why they haven't showed up here, especially with all the stuff that happens on this island. It'd be, they would have a field day with trying to deal with everything that's here. How's it going? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was weird. Occupy Chicago tweeted at me, but then when I went to go to it, it wasn't there. Sergeant Santos just walked by. <laughs> he refused Did to he say really? it. Yeah, he just walked oh, by. Totally he's, uh, he's right out there. He refused to say anything. <laughs> the one that said, uh, I yeah. Yeah, no doubt. The, op the officer that's standing at the end is the one that said he witnessed how everything was placed in the cars and actually taken off. Which one? The officer down at the very end over here. Uh, Sergeant Sant, not the skinny one, the big, heftier one that's up against the rail, Sergeant Santos. Okay. Did you hear that? The one that actually witnessed everything being taken out of the park. Sergeant Santos, Larry Santos. He's uh, uh what is it, a uh, policeman of the year or something last year. <laughs> he actually witnessed everything taken out and agreed that, yeah, everything was removed, so that was an illegal activity that happened. We're just asking why aren't you doing something about it? That's all. It's so simple. You know, they're creating all this ruckus themselves. We're just standing in line. <laughs> but they don't want to uphold against the city officials. <laughs> it says, Occupy Chicago has you covered. I saw the post earlier. Barely here. Okay, sounds back up. Um, yeah, I got, uh, some friends of mine who are, uh, oh, well, now that I'm back on camera, I just wanted to give a shout out to, uh, Pinkasaurus and everybody over at Occupy Chicago, so thanks for watching. I miss you guys a lot, but as you can see, I'm having a little bit of fun here as well, so, uh, if you're... Just tuning in, uh, I'm here in protest of Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun being allowed to steal and harass and beat people. So I filed yet another report against Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa and got the runaround and being blown off about it. Well, this is the third time that I've been down here at HVD with these same types of complaints. The one complaint, I was assaulted by Wesley Chun in the presence of an officer, and that was never handled. The line is drawn today. These are criminals, and they need to be brought to justice. So, what are we doing here right now? Or what are you doing? Are you standing in line? Are you walking a path? Are you standing in line and creating a demand, or are you blocking right, a Right path? now, I am patiently waiting to speak with the investigators. I would like to hear what they have to say. They've had 16 hours to review the evidence and to review the live stream. 
So you right now are basically standing in line waiting for them to have an investigator talk with you and uh, give an answer. I okay. am for now. Um, and depending on how that conversation goes, we'll, we'll dictate the next course of action. But I have no intention of leaving until I have confirmation that Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa are being arrested for theft. That is the correct action. That is the correct application of the law. We have sworn officers who collaborate our story that the items were in fact removed from the camp. We know for a fact that the items that were put up were not there for 24 hours and yet they were allowed to clear them. You do not get any more clear cut. We have officers of the law who collaborate our story. There is no other option than to have Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa arrested for theft. A gaggle? occupied the Honolulu Police Department for 16 hours. Occupy Honolulu. Occupy camp. Yeah. We'll see you Nope. Definitely. It's an easy situation. <laughs> I just don't get this. Cool. I'm glad the sound's working. Our Twitter is uh, at Occupy Honolulu or hashtag OHNL. Looks like 
that in for you guys. At least I'm not leaving until Wes and uh, Trish are in handcuffs. Well, you wanted an opportunity to talk to investigators. And I think that's where you need to hit on first. Just get that opportunity. Let them mess with you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where did Daniel go? Anybody know? Huh? Hmm. Okay. Have you seen Daniel? Have you seen Daniel? What? Have you seen Daniel? Huh? Have you seen Daniel? Uh, last I saw you were talking to that. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. I'm trying to stay with my brother. 
Things are getting a little hot up there for me to do this right now. I need to stay with my brother. I need to... Uh, how's it? Good. Uh, some contacts from Chicago are messaging me on Twitter, so that's so scary. Huh? It's good to hear from some of my friends from Chicago who are who are picking this up right now. So they're they're tweeting it out. Was AFG speaking of limits? I have passed seven hours and bits with chat, but it. Who's AFK? No, they haven't allowed us that information. Okay. So regarding the case that you made yesterday? Yeah, for the arrest of uh, West Town and Tushmore Keller. Okay. I, was, I was told that it's yeah, been investigated. It's been over 16 hours. I've been waiting here patiently all night to find out what's going on with this. I mean, it's pretty clear cut. We have video evidence of uh, Sergeant Santos saying that he saw us from the I don't know. We have, uh, no, 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 well, I'm not talking about this. Well, I was assaulted while waiting for the investigators. But, but no, what, what I'm here for right now is the fact that Trish Morikawa, as well as Sergeant Santos, and we have Sergeant Santos on camera saying that he did in fact watch, that, watch us remove the item. Do you have a report over for that case? Uh, I do. So, I believe you have it. Which one's over there? Did you sign that one? No, that's not metal. Uh, I'm still over there. Do you want to go over there? No, I don't think I have any more. There
Is this yours? Is it yours? I will take possession of it if that's what you're needing. Yeah. Yeah, we're here waiting for, for people to be arrested. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing any guy. I would be more than happy to allow people through who need to come through.
things under the table. We've uh, made several complaints and being on the neighborhood board, we've actually seen complaints brushed off that should be on those reports that aren't there. And what we have here is a report that wasn't done. Oh, well, no, we gave him the card. We gave him the card that they specifically filled out. Yes, we just handed it to them and they say they don't have it. This is the kind of stuff that's being done. Yes, it is. Oh no, it's it's actually just not there, and that's why they're having them refill another one out, the statement and everything. We have a death report that's actually on that card that was filed or that was filled out, and it's now not there. Uh, we were told that there was investigators on it, just like this uh, this gentleman here was saying that those are the procedures. But we've seen many times that they're not following the procedures nor what they actually tell us. Okay, because I heard that it's right, and, and that's you know this could be something that they're wanting to change up. But see, the point is, is okay. How about all the other times that something like this was reported, and why not if this is a proper procedure wasn't ever brought up at that point? What you're seeing is what HPD has done several times to brush aside and throw out reports to make a scene to say that we are helping our public, but in really, they're just blowing the situations off. It's disturbing the people that you're trying to help, rather than you're trying to get help from them. What's the way to motivate them to change policy? Well, you know, if they're not wanting to do anything about it, how else are we supposed to do? This, is, this isn't just today, sir. I mean, we haven't done something like this before, and we don't plan on continuing something like this. We're talking several months of this activity going on, and all we want is at one time that they actually address it. Actually, a lot of them. You'll see me on, all the time on the TV sitting there, in there, and I actually go up and I do address some of the situations and concerns, and I do it properly. I'm not up there screaming maniac like some of the other individuals that go up there. Which politician do you support that's going to change things the way you want them? For what? For the House of Representatives, Senate, for Governor? Well, as for the Occupy movement, we don't support any individually. I find that Kia I know. I find, uh, what, if, it, if you're going to smirk and smile, I was, I was just going to tell you, sir. I, did, I was answering your question. You just gave me a smirk and wanted to laugh it off like it was nothing. I tried to answer you nicely. No, actually, that's not what I said. I was telling you the names. But you wanted to brush it off. You didn't like the answer of having names. No, I didn't hear that. I 